So day three of the 2023 draft just started not too long ago, and the Packers just made their first pick of day three in round four. They drafted defensive tackle from Auburn, Colby Wooden. Here's a look at his RAS score. You can see his measurables, 9.24 out of 10, insanely athletic, 6'4", 273 pounds, slightly undersized for your typical defensive tackle. But if you look at his 40-yard dash, 4.79, I think I saw he's the third fastest defensive tackle in this group. And so for a Packers defense that is lacking depth with Dean Lowry gone, with Jaron Reed also gone, we currently, before drafting Colby Wooden, Kenny Clark, TJ Slayton, Devontae Wyatt, and that was pretty much it. We, of course, on day one added Lucas Van Ness, who can play inside and outside. And Colby Wooden is also a player who can play inside and outside. As I just researched, if you take a look here at his snaps per PFF, you can see B-gap, so in the interior, 259 snaps, over the tackle, 131 snaps, and then outside the tackle, so as edge rusher, 253 snaps. So even though he is listed as defensive tackle, the Packers could, if they want to, utilize him on the outside as well, which is something you know the Packers have shown year after year. They love that versatility. They love players who can do tons of different things. We saw with Jaden Reed yesterday, wide receiver. He can play inside. He can play outside. He can he can take punt returns. And with Colby Wooden, um, we get a guy who maybe his primary role will be in the interior, um, but also, if needed, can play on the outside. So now I want to read a excerpt from Dane Brugler's draft guide from The Athletic to get a little bit more insight into Colby Wooden. So he says this, a three-year starter at Auburn, Wooden was the starting defensive end and former defensive coordinator Jeff Schmetting's four-man front. Although most of his snaps came inside the offensive tackle as four-I or three technique, his production improved each of the last three seasons, and he is one of only nine t- Tigers to reach 30 career tackles for loss over the last 25 years. Wooden is very active off the ball with lower body agility and limb quickness to play in gaps. However, his block destruction is undeveloped, and he must do a better job staying on schedule to make a living battling NFL blockers. Wooden isn't consistently disruptive when rushing from the outside, but he can set the edge or reduce down where his rush skills are more effective on the interior. He offers position flexibility as a rotational base and or three technique as an NFL rookie capable of ascending to starter. So Packers on day one take a defensive player in Lucas Van Ness. Day two yesterday, which was my favorite day, um, coming in, getting three pass catchers, two tight ends, one wide receiver. The Packers go back to defense to solidify this defensive line that is lacking depth. So this is a good move, I think, by the Packers. There are still some other needs out there for Green Bay, with safety being one of them. We'll see if the Packers add a safety later in the draft. But um, seems like a smart move for the Packers to... Uh, add some depth to this defensive line. Um, now drafting two defensive linemen who can uh, you know, seemingly do both play inside and outside. But that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for the rest of the Packers draft picks, um, which I will cover on this channel. But that is all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.